My name is Kendall Kay. So happy you're here. This week I'm headed up to Mammoth, so I thought I would do like a little week in my life. Luke and I are driving up to Mammoth right now. It's like a six hour drive. And we just stopped to get smoothies and acai bowls. So I think we have like five hours left in the drive. The snow is supposed to be so crazy in Mammoth, like feet and feet and feet of snow. So I can't wait to see it. And then I can't wait to go skiing there. It's gonna be really cold, but really good skiing. We stopped in Murrieta at this place called Robex. I got the nuts about protein smoothie with Enjoy. Four hours away, and that's a pop open a lollipop. These lollipops are called the, from this brand called Suckers, and they last forever. They're my favorite, like a road trip treat. Because for some reason, I always feel very snacky on road trips. I think it's just because I get bored. We got two and a half hours left. Luke's gonna take over driving because it's getting dark. My shift is over. And we'll be there in no time. Mm -hmm. We've arrived to the condo. Luke's working. He just ate some dinner. This is my parents, my family's ski condo that we've had forever. And it's so cute. And it's the perfect size for Luke and I. The drive wasn't that bad. Luke helped me out on the last bit. And I just made myself a bit of dinner. We don't really have any groceries. So I just kind of made something with what we had. I made an arugula salad with homemade dressing and sprouts. I just did a simple salad with olive oil, red wine vinegar, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then I made some avocado toast with egg whites on top for some protein. This is like kind of a random dinner, but sometimes those are the best. <laughs> because this unit is in a it's kind of like a hotel like condo situation so there's a lobby and they have like a little coffee shop so we went down to get Luca coffee and just hung out in the lobby for a bit I journaled read down there then I came back up because I really needed my matcha I mean they sell a little matcha I had some walnuts before, otherwise I get like kind of nauseous if I just have caffeine on an empty stomach. I added honey today, which I never do. I usually have it unsweetened, but it made it so good. We bought a three-day ski pass. We don't have a season pass for this resort, so we just bought a three-day like pass. And we're allowed to use it three out of any five days, so today's the first day. Then for the next five days, we could pick any three days that we want to go. And Luke has a lot of work today, so I don't think we're going to choose to ski today. Even though I'm like itching to get up there. Definitely want to go with him so that we can use our passes together. It looks like a pretty, really pretty day. I think today would be a fun, would be a nice day to get all cute and try to take some Instagram content. I brought a cute... Maybe I could steal Luke for like half an hour and have him help me take photos. Otherwise, I could just take my tripod out and my reflector and try to do it myself. This is when it would be really nice to have like an assistant or best friend who just is with me everywhere. 
because I feel like I can never get content when I want to. And there's also a gym here at the hotel, so it could be nice to get a workout in. I'm going to make myself some yummy breakfast, and that's kind of the plan for today. There is so much snow here in Mammoth. I haven't seen it like this since I was like a child. We're on the bottom floor of the condo right now and usually you can see the lift from here because it's like a ski and ski out. But look at the view. It's literally just snow. Like that's a, just a huge snow bank. Probably like 20 feet, 20 feet tall. That's how much snow there is here. I don't know what the rest of the mountain looks like, but when we were driving in last night, the entire town looked like that. Like, it's just giant snow globe. The skiing is supposed to be really good. Right now, Mammoth has the deepest base snow in the whole country, so this is some prime skiing. This entire hotel is sold out. It's probably going to be a bit busy. That's what happens when you get great snow. I'm really excited to, to go skiing tomorrow. reflecting off of me because I look white literally no sunlight in our condo because the snow is so high but I just got ready I'm gonna go brave the cold and try to take some photos I think it's like 25 degrees right now but at least it's sunny I'm not gonna go far I'm just gonna run out there with my little tripod because I think Luke's busy this is my outfit I've got this navy hat on it's thrifted I just love how tall and big it was and then wearing this like long sleeve set from Fashion Nova, Fashion Nova puffer which I've had for a while, love it. And then I'm going to wear some mittens and I've got my favorite snowshoes on. My lunch, a little avocado toast. Luke's got his meal prep. Mm -hmm. we could use an energy booster. And it pumps my heart. We're feeling a little low mood, low energy. Could be some of the altitude hitting us. Could be hormones. Could be the human experience. All we know is that we're feeling, we're feeling. Hopefully a workout will help. I wonder how good it is so no one remember. It's so funny, usually I'm the one who's always talking, you're the one that's quiet. As soon as the camera turns on, it's like the other way around. Well, I gotta tell him what's going on, like what kind of vlogger would I be if I just didn't talk at all? <laughs> yeah. Just being a mute, a mute I can actually make some pretty vibey vlogs without me talking. I would just put like music over everything. Why is it so blown out like that? Whoa. You don't have it on auto, babe. Wow, the auto looks so much better. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. You got the key for the car? I just had some dinner. I had this like, that salad was really good. It was like this rainbow chopped salad with edamame and quinoa. Luke had filet mignon meal prep. And now we're feeding Luke's ice cream addiction. I didn't get to my addiction yesterday, so now I was having a panic attack today. He's having serious withdrawals. When am I going to get my ice cream fixed? And I'm totally like not in the mood to get out of the house right now, but it's probably good to get out of the house anyway. Luke loves his ice cream, so oh, sometimes 
We got it. Is it done? Mm-hmm. You sure? Let me see, babe. Why is it dead? We got a wrench in our plans because the car is dead somehow. Luckily, the, the hotel is going to send maintenance to come right now and help us start the car. So it shouldn't be too bad. But it's kind of a always a bummer when your car is dead. So we ended up going instead to the general store not to get ice cream because Luke wanted black liquor instead. <laughs> no, no, this isn't the truth. The car died and so we couldn't turn it off because then the battery might not have restarted and we'd be in the middle of nowhere. So the general store is right there. So we walk in the general store and there's black liquor. So we of course get the black liquor. There's two different kinds, Australian. Those Australians know how to do it. I got hand warmers for my babe. I don't think she knew that. Oh, was... I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, babe. What is this? Beef loin, filet mignon. We got a couple filet mignons to make for now, dinner one these night. these protein bars are horrible for you. But it's nice to have protein bars on the mountain. Right? But it's nice to have protein bars on the mountain. Almonds, two oranges, peanut butter spread. Good morning, it is Thursday. It's about 10 a.m. I woke up two hours ago, did some journaling and reading in bed. Then I went down and got a, got a coffee for Luke at the coffee shop, did my skincare. I just had a matcha. I'm sitting here on the bed, checking my emails and planning on Pinterest and stuff. We're gonna go skiing today, which I'm so excited for. I can't wait to see how good the snow is on the mountain. And I have a new ski outfit that I'm really excited to whip out. It's gonna be a good day. We're back from skiing. How was the ski day, babe? It was really good. Really good snow. Really good snow. They opened up like a hole for us, so now we have some actual light in here, but people are literally jumping from the other upper stories from their balconies and skiing down because there's so much snow. We're still kind of like locked in here. I don't know if we could make it out. We're about to head downstairs, get a latte, maybe like work in the lobby for an hour. We're pretty toast from skiing. We don't really have any other plans for tonight. Some popcorn. I, don't, I don't think the movie theater is here, babe. You gotta sell you games. They're still wearing, the, rocking the leggings. I am. Comment. Isn't, is isn't it this, weird if men just wear leggings? Isn't this trendy? Oh, this looks magical in the, in the camera. Luke wants to know if earrings for guys is hot or not. Earrings hot or not. I say earrings are hot. But only if they're like diamonds, not like, I'm not into like that like emo stuff. Yeah, just diamond stuff. Just diamonds. I think that's actually the only exception. And the more expensive they are, the hotter they are. I don't know though, because I feel like a big fat diamond. I mean, do guys wear that? Yeah, like, little baby. Okay, it looked good. Uh, it looked like a bit too big in nuggets, you know, he had like, he, he, he had like 35k in each year. It was a bit overwhelming. Like, I feel like girls can wear bigger diamonds on their ears and it looks like sick. Is that a hint? If you want it to be a hint, it's a hint. But honestly, my go-to earrings right now are hoops, like little tiny gold hoops. Okay, so we got Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory and the ice cream is on the right. Ice cream. I wonder how many grams of sugar is in this entire, entire place. They have black licorice. Sea foam. Is that is sea foam the same thing as honeycomb? Can I get a dark chocolate sea foam, please? Can we get a, a one of these sugar-free uh, dark chocolate caramels? Look at these massive, like just fudge Look what we found. <gasps> wow, that stuff makes you feel good. 
I know. It makes you feel some type of way. Yeah, tell them about your tree theory. Well, trees are very masculine, so they're, they're my brothers, and they're part of the brethren, where flowers, like tulips, roses, much more feminine. Those might be, like, classified as, like, sisters. So do you think, like, in, you think they have spirits? Yeah, for sure. So you think you're going to become a tree? No. Oh. <laughs> you look like a fucking crack. Good morning. It's Thursday. No, it's Friday. It's about 11.30. Been up for a few hours. I had a meeting this morning with my manager. We went down to the lobby to get Lucas coffee. I had my matcha. I had some overnight oats. I am so ready for the day. I think it's going to be another great day of skiing. I had a great day yesterday. Luke said it was his favorite ski day of his life yesterday. So that's how you know it's good. Granted, he's only been skiing for two seasons, but we've done a ton of ski trips in the past two years. It's like our favorite thing to do together. I would say it was pretty good too. I think my favorite ski day was still one day in Whistler and you can go watch my Whistler vlog to see how amazing that trip was. That was the best, probably one of the best trips of my life. This snow is crazy so I'm excited to go back out. The mountain is so big that yesterday we didn't even get all the way over to like the main area and the summit's not even open because there's so much snow. They were blowing up dynamite at the summit yesterday and it was so crazy. Like it literally would like shake the whole mountain and then you'd see this like puff of smoke come up because they're avalanche testing. So I don't think the summit's safe to ski on yet because there's potential for avalanche. But there's still a ton of the mountain that I want to show Luke because he's never been to Mammoth before. The snow is still going to be great today. Luke's just finishing up his meetings. Luke runs his own business so... He still has to work a lot anytime we travel. Since he runs the business, he's able to like pri like put all his meetings in the morning and then like take the afternoons off, but then he has to work all evening. He has flexibility, but still works a lot. But I'm grateful that we get to ski together still. We're also gonna ski tomorrow. I think tonight I'm gonna make filet mignon for dinner and maybe have like some wine, have a nice dinner at home. It's gonna be a great day. been a minute today is the next day and I just got back from skiing all day it was like our biggest ski day yet it was such a good day it was very hot today like so warm and sunny but it was also a ton of people out really good vibes all the lodges had like DJs and it was just like such good vibes out today Luke and I skied so much and now we're toast I just realized I never showed you guys my new ski suit, and I've been loving it. I just started wearing it this ski trip. It's um, a Cordova suit, and it's like a puffy on top. It's down, so it's really warm, And because usually ski suits are pretty not as like insulated, and it cinches at the waist, so it's like very flattering. So the hood, it's like a little ski suit with a belt. And really nice quality. I'm loving this. It's, I think it's technically meant for skiing, but I love the ski ski aesthetic and like the ski outfits better than snowboarding outfits because the snowboarding ones are usually a bit more like tomboy style. I think we're going to take it easy for the rest of the day. Luke and I are pretty tired. <laughs> Luke's working, posted up working. Work time. How much do I work? Like averaged out every single day. I mean, I feel like you start working at like 8, 8 or 9 a.m. every day. You pretty much work until, some nights you work until like midnight. Some what? nights you do. On like your, your biggest work day is from like 8 a.m. to midnight. 16 hours. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say Luke's biggest work days are 16 hours. And then your more average work days is like 12. 12. 12 hours for an average work day? Yeah. This week during skiing, I've only been doing like, what, like six hours a day? I would say ski trips are on the lower end of the spectrum for, for sure. how much you work. 
So 8 to 16 hours, 8 being the light days, 16 hours being the heavy days, averaging out at about 12. 12 hours a day. Most people work 8 hours a day. And you also work Saturday, Sunday, so I'd say it's a lot. But what is it today? Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. And look at what you're doing. No off days. Making money! But that's, that's how we make the big bucks, and that's how we live the lifestyle that we do. Right, babe? That's how I bring home the bacon, and you cook the bacon. I don't mind it because I love my alone time, and then... I also love to have a lot of free time to create content and stuff. Works out. I feel like a lot of people enjoy just like downtime and like doing shit for fun, but I kind of am in a work, I'm kind of a bit of a workaholic like Luke too, even though I don't really work more. I create my own little jobs that I like to do, like cleaning, creating content, cooking, self care, working out, all that stuff. We leave tomorrow, so that was our last day of skiing here. I wonder if I should close the vlog out right now. You should. I think that's a healthy ending. We're probably not going to be doing that much. I think tonight we're just going to eat in because we have a ton of Luke's meal prep still. And, like, we're just toast. I feel like this vlog wasn't extremely exciting. And it wasn't very inspired to vlog because it was a pretty low-key trip. But I appreciate you guys watching. Comment what you liked or didn't like about this vlog because I'm always trying to improve. But I also like to hear what you guys did like. So that would be very valuable if you could just share that. And I'll see you guys next week because we're going to Japan and I'm gonna do a little Tokyo vlog. That's gonna be sick! Yeah, it's gonna be cool because Luke and I have never been there. I'll see you guys then.